Hi everyone, um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the theory um, of the game of Nana Shogi. So a little background, um, when George Dunkel, and I'm um, sorry if I mispronounced your name, um, designed the game of Nana Shogi, um, initially, as you can see from this chart, the rook had unlimited movement, and also um, the swallow's wing had unlimited movement to the left and to the right, and also it could move one space to the top and the bottom, and afterwards it was changed so that it would only move left to right one space and those are the only um, two pieces that have changed but um, after um, George played the game a few times with some of his um, some of the viewers of his website it was soon discovered that black had a huge advantage because it, presumably black would drop his piece first and would have unlimited movement range and um, as it turns out um, with my program I was able to theoretically show that in the first um, version of the game on the left here um, black can theoretically win in 16 moves and I think the correct move is king dropped to uh, a2 yeah because now it says um, black will win in 15 moves I think white has to drop his king at c2 um, that's the theoretical best move and now black has a win in 15 moves um, this is the new, um, under the new rules, you can see it's an even game with perfect play. Um, if the king is dropped to a2, you can see, um, oh wait, that's a bad move, because now white can win in 29 moves, so we undo that. Let's try king to c2, even game. So what I've done to solve these two games is, um, the first thing I did was, using depth first search, I created all of the possible reachable positions of this game starting from the empty board so for example we will say okay black can do this white can do this and so forth and so forth until it repeats a position and then it'll backtrack and um, so as it turns out there are about 14 million um, legal positions in Nanashogi if you eliminate symmetry so there's two kinds of symmetry that can go on um, you could have left to right symmetry because as you can see from the moves of all these pieces none of them um, um, are left or right dependent and also there's a symmetry of which side um, it is to move so you can all you can um, assume that it's always black to move because if it's white you can just flip it over and all the pieces will flip over and so forth and um, once I did that I basically um, took um, all the reachable positions or 14 million I recorded the ones that were um, finished you know where one side had checkmated and then I worked backwards to see um, you know, um, which ones can force those checkmate positions. I repeated that until there were no more that could be forced checkmate. And um, there are actually very few drawn positions. So the very opening position, that's actually abnormal. So, um, which is, well, the, it's probably because um, there's so many choices when you are when you have pieces that can be dropped. Um, but um, I have to find a way to upload these games. The problem is that um, the way they are stored um, involve very huge files. So, um if I could um, show you the list of files you can see um, those two um, 229 megabyte 273 megabyte files those are um, the table of all of the positions with um, the values so does black win in five moves or is it even or does white win in 17 moves and every position is stored um, as a bit board so um, that's considerably larger than I would hope to upload so I'm going to think about how to store that but hopefully um, um, when I'm done you'll get to play it and what will happen is I want to be able to show the value at each position so um, let me start over so I can this is the old variant with the long range pieces so let's have the computer go first so it can demonstrate a win Okay, so now um, black will win in 15 moves no matter what we do. Let's drop the king at c1, which is even worse than dropping it at c2. Now can win in 12 moves. Um, we could move our, drop our bishop to c3. They capture, now it can win in 7 moves. Um, well, it's checked now, so drop the dog to, oops, um, let us drop the dog. Um, the oh, I'm sorry, we're talking about our pieces. Are this is the white's reserve pieces? 
So let's drop the go between to um, C2. Now when in 5, um, we could move our go between up to B2. C2 to. Oh no, we can't, it's pinned. Uh, we can move C1 to B1. Now wins in 4. We don't have anything to trap right now, so I think B1 to A1 is our only legal move. Um, win in 3. Now we can only go A1 back to. Win in 2 now. How about B1 to. And it'll probably move to B2, and that's a checkmate. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'll find a way to um, um, consolidate some of that information into a smaller file so it will be more uploadable somewhere. Uh, thanks for watching.